Hello everyone, welcome to theCUBE's coverage of Compute Engineered for Your Hybrid World, sponsored by HPE and Intel. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. I'm pleased to be joined by Krista Satterwaith, SVP and General Manager for HPE Mainstream Compute, and Lisa Spellman, Corporate Vice President and General Manager of Intel Xeon Products. Here to discuss the major announcement. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for coming on theCUBE. Thanks for Thank having us. Here. How do you guys uh, look at these, your core design principles around the ProLion Gen 11 and how that helps solve the challenges for your customers that are living in this hybrid world today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we see how fast things are changing and we kept that in mind when we decided um, to design this de generation. Uh, we talked all already about distributed environments. Uh, we see the intensity of the requirements that are at the edge. And that's part of what we're trying to address with the new platform that I mentioned. It's also part of what we're trying to address with our management, making sure that people can manage no matter where a server is and get a great experience. The other thing we're realizing when it comes to what's happening is customers are looking at how they operate. Uh, many want to buy as a service. And with HPE GreenLake, we see that becoming more and more popular. With HPE GreenLake, we can offer that to customers, which is really helpful, especially when they're trying to get new technology like this. Sometimes they don't have it in the budget. With something like HPE GreenLake, there's no upfront cost. So they can enjoy this technology without having to come up with a big capital outlay. Uh, for it, so that's great. Um, another one is around, you know, I liked what Lisa said about security starting at the hardware and that's exactly the foundation has to be secure or you're starting with the wrong, at the wrong place. Uh, so that's also something that we feel like we've advanced this time around. Uh, this, you know, secure um, route of trust that we started uh, in Gen 10, we've extended that to additional partners. So we're excited about that as well. That's great, Krista. We're, we're seeing and hearing a lot about customers' challenges at the edge. Lisa, I want to bring you back in on this one. What are the needs that you see at the edge from an Intel perspective? How is Intel addressing the edge? Yeah, thanks, John. You know, one of the best things about Xeon is that it can span workloads and environments all the way from the edge back to the core data center all within the same software environment. Customers really love that portability. For the edge, we have seen an explosion of use cases coming from all industries. And I think Krista would sit, uh, say the same. Where we're focused on delivering is that performance enough compute that can fit into a constrained environment. And those constraints can be physical space, they can be the thermal environment. The network edge has been a big focus for us not only adding features and integrating acceleration, but investing deeply in that software environment so that more and more critical applications can be ported to Xeon and HPE industry standard servers versus requiring expensive proprietary systems that were quite frankly not designed for this explosion of use cases that we're seeing. Across a variety of edge to cloud use cases, we have identified ways to provide step function improvements in both performance and that power efficiency. For example, in this generation, we're delivering an up to 2.9X average improvement in performance per watt versus not using accelerators and up to 70 watt power savings per CPU opportunity with some unique power management features and improved total cost of ownership and just overall power consumption. What's the closing thoughts? What should people take away from this announcement around scalable processors, fourth gen Intel and the gen 11 ProLion? What's the walk away? What's the main, main uh, super, super thought here? So I can go first. Uh, I think the main thought is that um, obviously uh, we have partnered with Intel for many, many years. We continue to partner. This generation was years in the making. Uh, in fact, we've been working on this for years. So we're both very excited that it's finally here, uh, but we're laser focused on making sure that customers get the most out of their workloads, the most out of their infrastructure, and that they can meet those challenges um, that people are throwing at them. I think IT is under more pressure than ever before, and the demands are there. They're critical to the business success, 
with digital transformation. And our job is to make sure they have everything they need and they could do and meet the business needs as they come at them. Lisa, your thoughts on this inflection point we're in right now? Well, I agree with everything that uh, Krista said. Uh, it's just a really exciting time right now. There's a ton of challenges in front of us, but the opportunity to bring technology solutions to our customers' digital transformation is tremendous right now. I think I would also like our customers to take away that between the work that Intel and HPE have done together for generations, they have a community that they can trust. We are committed to delivering customer led solutions that do solve these business transformation challenges that we know are in front of everyone. And we're pretty excited for this launch. Yeah, I'm super enthusiastic right now. I think you guys are on the right track. This title compute engineered for hybrid world really kind of highlights the word engineered. You're starting to see this distributed computing architecture take shape with the edge, uh, cloud on premise. Computing is everywhere. This is a real, real relevant to your customers and it's a great announcement. Thanks for taking the time and joining us today. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. This is the first episode of theCUBE's coverage of Compute Engineered for your hybrid world. Please continue to check out thecube.net, our site for the future episodes where we'll discuss how to build high performance AI applications, transforming compute management experiences and accelerating VDI at the edge. Also to learn more about the new HPE ProLiant servers with the fourth gen Intel Xeon process, you can go to hpe.com and check out the URL below, click on it. I'm John Furrier at theCUBE. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in high-tech enterprise coverage.